Hello there, um, as you can see we are just a few days to Valentine. Well, I'm, I'm here with my Valentine, I don't know about you. So we today we just want to talk about love. So the title for today is Let's Talk About Love. Yeah, let's talk about love then. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what do you have to say well, about the Valentine? Okay, Valentine, I think Valentine died a long time ago, 500 BC was when Valentine was, you know, in his activity, in his heyday. But we are here today in 2011 and uh, we want to know what is love. You know, Valentine made history by that heroic deed that he undertook by saving those young men from going into the battlefront because of their bride, their newly married bride. And today we celebrate Valentine with, you know, the uh, uh, affection, intimacy, and we want to ensure that, you know, our love is kept fresh and strong long term. So Valentine again, we want to say, what does it mean to us? Let's talk about love. Let's, what does it mean to us during Valentine and beyond? Well, what makes this very interesting to me is that we are just also having a few days to our marriage anniversary. Few weeks. <laughs> few days. 23rd of well, March. Well, turn the months into weeks, turn the weeks into days. That's what we are talking about. Well, you know, we live in the days of uh, disposable napkins, disposable... Um, uh, Income. <laughs> yeah, disposable <laughs> camera and virtually everything is disposable. And you know, gradually people are turning long term relationship into disposable thing. And uh, one can pick up a lover today, tomorrow is, that one is disposed of, and then picks another one. Now, this is eating deep into our lifestyle and it's damaging. Mm. It's damaging in so many ways. Are you talking about people's psychology? Are you talking about people's emotions? What are you talking about? It's affecting people terribly. And it's also affecting our up and coming generation. That's why we have to talk about love. We want to talk about love and it should not just start. It shouldn't start easily. It shouldn't just be a casual thing. It should start and have a long term effect. Mm, powerful and uh, you know we would be 20 years and I think that's long enough you don't look it do you? <laughs> let them ask me not you okay. <laughs> no uh, that's long enough for us to have gone through the test of love um, love not tested is not real love have we gone through Absolutely. the grind of life Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. Have we gone through the you know lack of money, no money, or have we gone through child you know children being sick? Have we gone through you know relocation, not being there for over two, almost two years together? So many things. And mm. have we been tempted as couples? You know, mm. within the Christian fold, we don't seem to really you know give emphasis to this. But have we been tempted? Absolutely. Not, not you know, so but. Uh, one thing that stands going for us for all time, and I believe this is a long time principle, is that we have decided that we will remain committed to each other, mm. come what may. Yeah. So it's not even just about taking the vows, it's about those daily decisions that we take to be committed to each other. Is yeah. it uh, somebody calls it daily act of discipline. Okay. Well, it's not just the mental accent of, oh, I will, I will feel committed to you. <laughs> and then we do all that drama and buy all the expensive rings and, and to many. Long-term relationship is just engagement ring, courtship ring, wedding ring. It doesn't mean anything. Mm. If, we, if we don't have that inner commitment, if you don't have that personal commitment, personal relationship the, with God. I mean, that for me is the solution to this. Because if you don't recognize the higher power that is above both of you, mm. if you don't understand the laws of nature, the laws that God has put in place, that you reap what you sow, if you don't acknowledge that, if you don't acknowledge that um, there is something called law of gravity, you throw something up, if you don't keep pushing it, 
a time comes the force you used to push it now fades away and it starts coming down and that's how it is but at the same time you see how the aircraft works if you throw it or if it takes off it keeps driving there's a force that is inside keeps propelling it and it now gets into the space where there's no more force of gravity so even though people cannot be suspended in the air there is a force that you can apply and it takes you into the space and you can you can fly in the space with less force of gravity so in in the same way in relationship in marriage in particular not just relationship in your marriage in your <coughs> marriage relationship we, we're using this time to address the married couples we are also talking to the singles but specifically to the married people you can make it happen you will not abandon your car because there's no more fuel whose responsibility is it it's mine to top up the fuel you hear what I'm saying? So, but people find it easy to abandon their relationship because they are finding they are having difficulties and challenges. It's your responsibility to top up the fuel. It's my responsibility. What a place to yeah. run up this. No, no. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing yeah. that we, you know, when we talk about love, we have to talk about topping it up. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll end there. Well, 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 that's where it got to be. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we have to run it up here and uh, we look forward to speaking to you. Please don't forget two things. The last bit of this series we are offering, we are going to talk about practical steps, practical things that have held us together for these two decades. I'm not saying two days. I'm not saying two years. I'm not saying two months, we're talking about two decades. 20 years. That 20 solid nice. years, my friend, that's something. That's something and we, we look forward to seeing you able to do that because it is possible. It is possible. That's number one. Number two is that you're free to send in your questions. Ask questions. It will be a joy to be able to stay on this side and be able to answer your questions. And we'll be glad if you can do it with your own video you record your video and send it or you just send the audio and then send your picture you can do that and then we'll be able to give you a bonus mm. i won't tell you what it is but yeah. it's gonna be full of value you better look forward to that bonus yeah all right we say bye for now bye bye